My name is Peggy Romano. My name is Randy Foster de Quintana. Our God day was day two. When the bus dropped us off and we went down to the village, the woman that lived next door to the house that we were building was very withdrawn. In fact, when the Americans came down the path, she pulled her children in, went in the house, and wouldn't come out. That's when we handed out some candy. We gave the children licorice, and then all the homes are surrounded by bob wire. And I took the licorice out because she was way back by her house. She still wouldn't come out. Put my hand through the bob wire and handed her some licorice. And she slowly took it, and then she gave it to her daughter. And then I handed her two other pieces, and then she took it. And, she, and, I, and I was trying to get her to, to feel safe with us, that we're just there to help. Peggy, Peggy would hand out the gifts and the hugs, and then I would translate, like literally from her heart, I would tell them in Spanish, you know, this is what God put into her heart to give to you, to show his love for you. And you would see that spark in their eyes that would, they would get when they recognize, you know, Christ's love for them. And then after the children were all settled and playing with their little toys that they had or blowing the bubbles that we gave them, I had booklets for the adults to give out. And I went up to Randy, I said, Randy, here, I, I have these booklets. It's called The Four Spiritual Laws. I said, go hand them out and tell these women to read this. And that's when you said. <laughs> I said, no, that you, you need to do this, that, you know, God put it in your heart to bring all these things to them and, and to speak to them and you're communicating in a way that, you know, I don't need to for you. So I told Brian in Spanish and I said, take Peggy and go around to all the mothers and translate for her. Eso es para ti, this is for you. Then he took me to each house and he would say it word by word and I would say it word by word right after him. It was the sweetest thing, I'll never forget that. It was about an hour later, we were doing, we were making our cement, which is hard labor. <laughs> and all of a sudden, Randy goes, Peggy, because the, the lady next door to the house that we were building is waving the booklet like this and, and, and yelling. And I turn around and she's like, Jesus is in my heart. I have Jesus in my heart. And she said, gracias, gracias, gracias. So she apparently read this book and she was so excited. She was telling us she found Jesus. She put Christ in her heart. God created this place in Honduras and he gave them he gave them a need in their hearts and he gave them a need for blessings and he created another place here in Adrian in our church and in ourselves and he gave us the same hearts that are needed there you know the same love that he filled our hearts with that we don't know what to do with if you have those blessings and even if you're afraid, you know, that it's not enough or, or whatever your fears are, just let God use you.